welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well um, we have another lockdown here in the uk so not really um, allowed to do much at the moment um, so let's do another painting um, you can see i'm using the bockingford coal press and jackson's watercolor paints as i normally do and at the end i'll be using uh, a pen uh, one of my um, ink pens and i'm i'm doing this quite loose so it's quite um, straightforward you can see i've speeded up in um, areas just to keep this uh, video going so as as always in manchester it's quite overcast we get quite a lot of rain so there's some clouds in this scene and it is something that i've done from a reference so i'm using the reference photo as i go along with this painting so the building um, this building is quite quite a nice warm color it's in the sun we do have some sun sometimes here in manchester so it's hitting this building so i'm just using a nice warm i've actually used a bit of naples yellow mixed in with the yellow ochre so it's quite a nice warm yellow and then towards the the bottom of the building i'm cooling it down just a little bit with a touch of uh, uh, blue ultramarine and then this building in just behind is a nice sort of warm brown um, it's actually the Arndale Centre. The building on the right is actually Debenhams, so it's quite a landmark for Manchester. And at the bottom here we have the gardens. So just just going in, adding different various mix of colour. I wanted to have nice warm colours as well as some cooler tones. So I've got a mix of red, um, raw sienna, yellow ochre, and a touch of ultramarine. So you can see I'm not, I'm not going in with much detail. I'm going in quite loose. I wanted to give a, a quite an impressionistic painting. And the size of the paper I've actually cut a bit from. Um, it, Originally it's 15 by 11 inches, but I've took a chunk off and it's probably more towards the A4 size. So just not really um, not really going in um, accurately with the windows as such. Just wanted to get, um, just literally the windows is literally touching the paper with my um, my brush. And again, I'm using the uh, squirrel mop brush and my Da Vinci um, mop brush. They're quite nice tips. So you can get nice thin lines where needed. And then later on, there's some trees in this scene. So I'll be using the liner brush as well, just to get some line work and some sort of final details into the scene. So just going in, um some darker tones this is where the trees are at just in front of the building so it cuts off uh, quite a bit of the buildings themselves so i wanted to do that get them in um in the early stages really and then there's plenty of sort of shadows a dark area in the foreground so it's quite a nice scene quite quite nice um, to paint and you can see there's quite a nice dark cast shadow on the side of this building I'm just blotting out there because it's uh, quite a bit too dark so I'm lifting off and putting back in and just playing around with until I get the result that I want so here you can see the this line that I'm doing that it's more it's like a bit of a canopy from the buildings uh, coming down so there's quite a bit of shadow underneath and um, the shop fronts things like that 
I remember the first time I painted uh, City Scene, it was actually um, an oil painting I did of uh, Liverpool uh, City Centre, it was of Albert Docks. And I remember sort of when I began the painting, I, I thought I'd bit enough too much to chew and it it sort of overwhelmed me. But if you if you look at the the overall um I guess the uh, the scene itself, if you look at the city centre or town centre or whatever you might want to paint and you just simplify, you just see these shapes and that's all you want to do. So I I started the painting and it, it was quite a nice painting and uh, I just did blocks. They were just basically squares, rectangles um, and that's how I did that painting. So you just got to look at the, the basic shapes of, of the buildings and for something like this you want to start with the bigger shapes. So I did pencil in uh, the two sort of more prominent buildings and then I started, well I did the sky first and then tackled the bigger shapes too. So you can also treat the sky as, as a shape, that's one shape and then there's two buildings um, with a building sort of in the middle and then another shape underneath which is the foreground. So you just want to tackle it down from the biggest shapes to then the smaller shapes and then you can work on the details within the smaller shapes. So I hope that makes sense. Um, drop us a comment and let me know what you think. If you are new to my channel, if you're not yet subscribed, then please do so. I would appreciate any new subscribers here on this channel. Um, let me know what you think of this scene. Is it somewhere that you're familiar with? Uh, those of you that are in the UK, have you been to Manchester? Have you done any paintings similar to this? Let me know, let me know any comments, any uh, cityscapes, any townscapes that you've done, buildings, things like that. I think it's one of the one of my favourite things to paint, really. I do I do like landscape painting, but I also do like to include architecture in my paintings. Whether it be oil painting or watercolour. Um, I've not tried acrylics yet. Uh, it's something that I've not uh, got round to doing just yet. But it's something that I hope to do sometime soon. But at the moment I'm quite happy doing watercolours. So I do like to work quite loose. I like to be quite free with the paint, as you can see. And the pen really helps to pull things together maybe get some more details, um, maybe um, just to define, I guess, some of the paint that you've put down. It's a good way to tighten up just a little bit. And it also can help if you've made any mistakes, you can just go over and almost correct it. So I'm not looking for perfection in this painting, certainly not. But it's something I wanted to do nice and loose and show you just how I approach something like this. And of course you can take more time, you can take your time and sort of do more detail. And um, But I, I do like the loose approach, I do like doing this. Let me know what you think, if you like to paint loose or if your style is more sort of realistic and more um, accurate. And just drop us a comment and let me know what you like and any suggestions for any f uh, future paintings i'd always appreciate i've got a few things that i've uh, got lined up and i'm looking forward to doing different things um so and that's that's what, what that's i guess that's what art's all about your, your journey as you try different things and try different techniques with different mediums and so for me, I think acrylics is definitely one that I need to try at some point. Also, uh, sketchbooks is a really, really good idea if you're beginning, um, trying to find what you like. Um, sketchbooks can be a really 
valuable source of uh, learning. So I do recommend getting yourself a sketchbook if it's something you want to sort of pursue. And I'm looking forward to the summer when I can get out and do some more plein air painting. I have done quite a bit in the past, not for quite some time, but I'm going to be doing that as the weather gets a bit warmer here in the UK. So this is this is my favourite part now, just um, taking taking off the masking tape, and it just gives you an idea of what your painting looks like once it will be framed. So that's it. Let's have a, a closer look. I hope you like this painting. I hope you've learned something. Give us a thumbs up. Any comments? And also, if you're new and you've not subscribed, then please do so. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.